Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. Robert and I have already finished our leg workout for the day. We were about to go deliver the last little bit of bricks that we were not able to ship out yesterday. We're gonna go to the post office, drop those off. My day is full of errands. Robert's day is full of being at the computer and at the desk and all of that. We got the crew working over there on bricks and uh, that's about it. So here we go. All right, y'all. So as Crystal said, we're about to drop off the remaining bricks right now. Isn't that right, Crystal? That's right. I feel like y'all can tell how busy we are based off of how many days I wear the same <laughs> sweater in a row and go without shaving. So it's been pretty crazy here. We're at the warehouse about to pick up some brick ingredient supplies. How you doing? Hi, what's up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a pallet of some ingredients, small pallet. I think it'll all fit. It'll all fit. All right, y'all, just leaving the warehouse. The coolest thing about here is I get to sit here and visit my folks. Not my folks, but my grandfather, my uncle. Pick up our ingredients and have a great day. So, see y'all in a bit. Also, y'all, I just got, I talked about this in my newsletter, but I got some grass-fed beef liver uh, pills. Let's see here, one, oh, there's six capsules per serving, 30 servings per container, 3,000 milligrams of New Zealand grass-fed liver per serving. Um, and the reason I got this is because I do actually like organ meat. I, I don't mind eating liver. I actually enjoy it. I just don't have the time and the patience to really cook liver on a regular basis um, because it's kind of just messy and bloody and slimy and I don't really cook liver on a regular basis. But I got these in hopes that I can get the benefits of liver without the preparation of liver. <sighs> Pretty good. No weird taste to it. So, got this on Amazon, not really sure how much I paid for it, but it wasn't too terribly expensive, remember that. Check it out. All right, y'all, it has been a long couple weeks and I have not been able to shoot my bow in a long time, way, way, way too long. So right here, it's like getting into evening hours. Most of the work for the day is done taking a little breathe, a little disconnect time, and seeing if I still have it. I haven't shot this in like a couple weeks, so we'll see if I can get it in the heart still. Pretty close. I think I still got it pretty much. Check this woman out. Ain't nothing sexier than a woman that knows how to use a bow. Woo, look at that, baby. Don't smile. Stop. Don't smile. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to have a glass of wine. Every once in a while, I enjoy a glass of wine. And I've been getting this Fit Vine wine, and I don't feel like it's negatively impacted me whatsoever. Uh, technically, I am breaking my fast, though, in doing this because I'm doing the OMAD approach, which I want to talk about. I'm going to finish up this vlog and just kind of recap on that. I started doing that on Sunday, I believe. So, Sunday, Monday, today's Tuesday. So, I've done it for about three days now. Obviously, I need more time in it before I can, like, speak intelligently on any of my findings. But I have discovered a few things, so I'll share those with you now. Number one, it's... It's, it takes more mental getting used to of like your feeding times. I've, I switched up my feeding times. I had originally planned on um, eating around five to seven, but these past two days I've switched that and I've been eating right around noon, noon to one o'clock. Um, and I didn't want to do that originally because I thought that would make me have like a dip in energy right there in the middle of the day during like productive hours. Um, and I was hesitant to do that, but I've actually noticed the exact opposite. I haven't felt really tired after eating. In fact, I feel pretty good. I feel like a boost in energy. Um, I'll, I'll normally have a little bit of caffeine in the afternoon, so it kind of gives me a little bit of bump, but let me get a sip of wine real quick. Good stuff. So, what I've been doing, scheduling-wise, I'll wake up around three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning, I'll do some computer work, I'll train at about five o'clock in the morning, then we'll have like our employee meeting. I'll be doing podcasts, client work, emails, all that good business stuff. Um, and then I'll eat at around noon. 
and that'll be my one big meal, which has been coming in right around 3,500 calories. So I'm having like 3,500 calories in one sitting. So pretty good big bolus of food, but it hadn't been hard to get down by any means. I mean, it's been going down pretty easy. Um, and then I'll get back to work, work the rest of the day. And then I just actually got back doing cardio. That's what I just returned from. I just got done doing cardio. I did 20 minutes on Stairmaster and I felt a little bloated while doing the cardio because I had that huge meal a few hours ago. Um, I guess about seven hours ago now, but it wasn't like uncomfortably full. And I think it actually gave me a pretty good ample energy for the cardio. So we'll see if my energy carries out for tomorrow morning's workout, but I feel like it, it should. Um, so yeah, kind of one meal a day has been going good so far. Everything's been good. My digestion's been good. My energy's been good. Um, it is strange though, because like psychologically, you know, if you're used to eating multiple times a day, like I ate my my meal at noon, and then I was already thinking, okay, what am I gonna eat when I get home from cardio? And it's like, wait a minute, I'm not gonna eat until tomorrow. And you have to kind of get past that mental hurdle because you're so acclimated to eating at set times, which is just weird in the first place. Like, why would you plan to eat at certain times? Like, eat when it's convenient, eat when your body tells you you need to eat. Um, but yeah, so those are some, some findings thus far. I do feel good, I feel strong, I feel powerful. All is well there. I'll touch base with you after I've done it for several more days, weeks, months, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy my glass of wine, I'm going to spend some time with Crystal, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Good night.